Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial, and today in GIMP, we're going to be creating this sci-fi background, and it's sort of like you're laying in a grassy field looking up at the brilliant universe with planets and stars and weird radius things, so uh, it's kind of a stunning effect. Um, you will need to download a few stock images like the grassy field and the two planets, but fear not, I have links in the description, so by all means, let's get started. Okay, so I opened up my uh, grassy field uh, stock image, and first what we're going to do is we're going to take out the sky, leaving only the grassy field. And um, you can do this either with the pass tool or with the color select tool. I'm using the color select tool, uh, just add an alpha channel, duplicate it, that way you have an image to fall back on, and then just start deleting. Okay, so I'll be back when I'm finished with that. Okay, so I've cut out the uh, grassy field, and I've actually uh, boosted the contrast and saturation. So just go brightness and um, brightness and contrast. Sorry, excuse me. And um, tone up the brightness, and I mean uh, tone up the contrast and lower the brightness. Sorry, I'm a little bit confused, but I already did that. Now what we're gonna do is add a sky. So make a new layer and put that on the bottom and make this uh, darkish blue kind of not really dark but make this your foreground color 0C6AA6 and make this uh, light blue your background color 78CBFF is the HTML notation we're going to stroke down that looks good and we're actually going to uh, go to brightness and contrast and lower the brightness boost the contrast just to match the grassy field maybe a little lower on brightness and contrast <coughs> I mean on brightness click OK now what we're gonna do is uh, import the planets <coughs> so just go file open as layers and open up the planets and I will be right back once I've done so okay I have the two planets and you're going to put them both on screen um, move uh, the big planet over here that way you can move this uh, smaller planet over there and then move this one back like about there that looks good uh, add an alpha channel to both and on your tiny planet you're going to uh, take a fuzzy brush and um, you just uh, boost the scale by to 10 and you're just going to erase where they overlap because it doesn't look very good if you can see a planet through a planet okay and now what we're gonna do is color these planets and I'm sort of going for a magenta look so go to colors color balance on the big planet and boost the magenta up and then on highlights boost that magenta up some more just to do that add some red a little bit of blue, but mainly go for the red magenta look. Click OK. Go to the smaller planet. Do the same thing, color balance. And uh, more uh, bluish, greenish look. Go for the green, but also go for the red. Lots of red. And go to highlights, red, and green. And that's a little bit overwhelming, so we'll leave off the red for a little bit but red and blue shadows boost up the red click OK and we're actually going to uh, play with the brightness and contrast click brightness and contrast and uh, lower the brightness and increase the contrast that's good and do the same for the big planet Maybe that's a little bit much. That's good. And uh, you can sort of see the parts through there, so I'm just going to go back with the eraser, eraser tool and just retouch these edges. That is perfect. 
now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add clouds and you're gonna need to download some uh, brushes so just go on to DeviantArt and search uh, cloud Photoshop brushes and just install them into GIMP easy as that um, go to your paintbrush tool scale down the scale and um, choose a good brush cloud brush make a new layer below everything except for the grass except for the um, sky I mean and put that onto white let's go with the brush that we had before that was a good brush maybe it was this oh, it's okay and um, that's good and then just put that on a uh, grain extract and turn down the opacity and we're actually gonna blur this um... blur the planets are uh, the clouds what am i talking about it's about like eighteen that might be a little bit much that's actually pretty good um... now what we're gonna do is make another new layer and choose a cloud brush and make two clouds again put the layer mode on overlay and um... go to your fuzzy brush And you're actually going to have to um, erase it because it shows up in front of the planets. So just erase parts of it. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. Let's uh, add some stars. So make a new layer um, on top of the, uh, in between the grass. Um, and all the rest of the layers and fill that in with black um, and don't worry it doesn't get rid of any of your stuff see it's just a layer um, and then go filters noise hurl Ta tone down the randomness to one click OK and go colors uh, desaturate and do that based on luminosity. Click OK and put the layer mode on screen. So now it's kind of faint, but it really gives like a tangible uh, uh, addition to the image. Uh, now what we're going to do is add a starburst, sort of. So you go filters, light and shadow, and before we do that, we should make a new layer. and go filters light and shadow and I believe it is um... gradient flare yeah and I'm going to go with bright star why not and then just position it that looks good now what we're gonna do is we need to color the lawn so duplicate uh, the lawn layer and it's not really a lawn but like duplicate the grass layer and go colors color balance and I sort of want to add the magenta because this I'm adding it's it's sort of a magenta theme but I just really want to add that to the image so go to highlights tone up the magenta and uh... It's okay to go all out on this one because it's going to be overlaid anyways. So it's so it's sort of going to be looking a little bit yellow, but uh, this is good. Click OK, and then put it on overlay. And um, maybe we should duplicate that a little bit. Nope that's good as you can see it 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 sort of gives them a gentle look 
so you're just gonna merge down and um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go layer new from visible uh, sorry layer new from visible put that on top and um, what we're gonna do is um, uh, put your foreground color um, go with search of magenta it's a little bit more hot pink than I would like it's about like right there and a magenta to a red and then go colors map gradient map and uh... whoops just did that to the star colors map gradient map and it's kind of overwhelming but we're gonna put that layer mode on overlay turn down the opacity a lot and then on the eraser tool um... erase the grass as sort of like a fade in and then um, on the eraser part put the opacity to 50 and then erase this part so it's um maybe a little bit less though because I really like this sort of fade look so um, there you go that is how you make the sci-fi background and it looks very good as a background as you can tell so uh thank you for thank you for watching this tutorial and have a great day